So to find trig in other quadrants, there's two things you have to do. First, find the sine, which was the last video. Then this video is you have to switch the angle with its reference angle. What was discovered was that trig actually has the same answer number in each of the four quadrants. It repeats. It's just a matter of we're going to find uh, answers to nice. So we're only going to deal with 30, 45, and 60. Because in real life, that's what you usually deal with. You don't usually cut a table at 22.5 degrees. So, uh, first we find, uh, we find the sign. Then you find the reference angle. Now, the reference angle is between 0 and 90 degrees. And it's always made with the terminal side and closest x-axis. Not the y. For some reason, people like to do It's not the y. So if I said, what's the sine of 120 degrees? Now, I like to make a drawing. Don't have to, but 120, oh, it's about there. I'm a little bit off. Second quadrant. So first thing I'm going to do is, what's the sine of sine, the S-I-G-N of the S-I-N-E in the second quadrant? Well, Y is positive, R is always positive, so sine is positive. Now, you don't need to put this plus. I'm just doing it. Then, if I got the right SIGN, I can put the reference angle. Now, how many degrees is it between the terminal side and the closest x-axis? Well, the whole thing there is 180, so that has to be 60 degrees. Then I can answer that because you should know the sine is 60. Now go ahead and look in your chart if you know you do. Sine 60 squared of 3 over 2. So if I said, okay, what is the cosine of 215 degrees? You'd say, okay, Mr. Martha. Let's see, 215, that's in the third quadrant. Let's see, X and Y are both negative. It's left and down. So, um, oh, cosine's negative because X is negative, R is positive. So it'd be negative cosine. And then we need to find the reference angle. Well, how many degrees is it between the terminal side and the closest X axis? Well, that would be 45. And, oh, look at our chart. We have it right. Oh, it's right next to it. Oh, it's square root of 2 over 2. So it would be a negative square root of 2 over 2. So if I said, okay, what is the tangent of 330? We use Alchemist Mafia. Let's see. 330 is in the, oh, it's in the fourth quadrant. Y is negative. X is positive. Negative divided by positive because tangent is Y divided by X. So it would be negative tangent. Now the reference angle, how many degrees between here? Well, this is 330, all the way is 360, so that'd be 30 degrees. And here we go, la 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 la, tangent of 30, that would be square root of 3 over 3. So see if you can find just one. Just one. I'm just asking one. All I asked is one. Oh my goodness. Do um cosine of 135. Freeze the program and go ahead and try it. Okay. So cosine of 135. You would say, oh, Mr. Murphy, let's see. We, okay, it's in the... Second quadrant, cosine's negative. Now, uh, one way you can remember it is all students take classes. All of them are positive. Sine and cosecant. Take is tangent. And classes, cosine. 
So that's how I was taught to remember it. But you do what you want. But cosine's negative because x is negative, r is positive. And the reference angle, let's see, that's right here. Uh, it's uh, 45 short of the 180, so 45 degrees. I look on my chart, so it's a negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, try these two for me. Sine of 270 and sine of a negative 30. And then turn me back on. Did I trick you? I tried to trick you. 270 is a multiple of 90, so it's quadrantal. Hey, my goodness. Quadrantal, so it'd be the point zero, negative one. Uh, sine is y over r. Y is negative one over r is positive one, so it'd be negative one. Oh, I tricked you. I tricked you. Now, negative 30, that's right here. So it's in the uh, y is negative, r is positive, so it's negative. Sine of the reference angle is 30. And I don't know if you have it memorized right, but the sine of 30 is a half, so it'd be negative a half. I tricked you. I tricked you. <laughs> so tangent of 315. A cosine of negative 120 and sine of 150. Find those three for me, please. Okay, good. So 315, hey, wow. We're in the fourth quadrant. Tangents negative. All students take classes. Or this is positive y, excuse me, negative y, positive x, negative y, positive. And the reference angle, how far is it between the x axis, closest x in terminal? That's 45. And tangent of 45 is 1. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hope I had that right before, did I? Yes. Thought I messed up. Cosine of negative 120, we. So uh, let's see, uh, if the x is negative, so it'd be negative cosine. How far is it between here and here? I don't know why people want to go with the y. It's not the y, it's always x. So how many degrees? It'd be 60. And cosine of 60 is a half. Let's see, 150 right here second quadrant y is positive or all students sign s for sign but y is positive r is always positive so it's positive sign and uh that's 30 degrees between the 150 and the 180 so ooh, ooh one half now, if you have any questions, you can uh, uh, email me. Be glad to do some more videos or answer questions. Also, I'm thinking about doing an optional quiz if you want to retake it. Now, if you haven't taken it to yet and I've talked to you, go ahead and take the original one. Uh, because if I have you retake it, uh, the best you can do is not going to be 100%. I have to think that through. And we'll talk about that on Monday's, Monday's video. But anyways... I hope this helps some. Have a good day.